Christmas land. What's going on all you wild ghouls and vampires? Logan Myers back here for Cinefellas.com. Tonight I'm going to be talking about season two of Nosferatu that was airing on AMC. It just finished the second season and a show I've been pretty much consistently watching each week to see where these characters go. Really enjoyed the first season. I reviewed the first two episodes of season two right here on our YouTube channel. If you haven't seen that, check them out or just watch my series review that I'm gonna be talking about. The setup of season two, it's eight years after what happened in the first season having to do with Charlie Manx dying, getting burned alive. And the end of season one, Vic McQueen finds out she's pregnant. So they fast forward eight years later, she has the kid, Bruce Wayne, and uh, her new boyfriend and father of the child is Lou, uh, which was a character in the first season, really awesome character in the show. Um, and then we see Charlie Manx returning in season two, thanks to Bing uh, resurrecting the wraith that was burnt. Uh, that's basically how he brings back Charlie Manx all these years later and really is the power that controls Charlie Manx and all the evilness. So the first two episodes of the season, the setup with eight years later, kind of fast forwarding, seeing Vic McQueen and her family and her being an alcoholic, much like her parents and seeing her life kind of going down the shitter. Uh, she didn't go to college. She ended up being pregnant, being a mother and she essentially becomes her parents. If you guys remember the first season, her parents are big alcoholics, they fought all the time. Just not good people or good parents, and she's becoming them, and uh, something she was always afraid of. Um, but episodes three, probably through episode six, it's really boring. Uh, there's not much uh, character development, but we do get more of a backstory with Charlie Manx's character. Zachary Quintano did an excellent job this season. He's really evil, he's a really great antagonist and something unsettling about his character and his portrayal of Charlie Manx. And I thought he was a really great standout this season compared to Vic McQueen's character. Uh, but with his backstory, you kind of see how he gets the wraith. Uh, his daughter Millie, which is like the head at Christmas Land, she's the head of all the children that he's captured. And uh, we get to see what happened to Charlie's wife back in the day. And uh, I really appreciated that. But, you know, again, it's another uh, Charlie versus Vic this season going back and forth. Uh, her trying to stop him since he was resurrected by Bing and her also trying to find out where Bing is at because he's up to no good and he's also very creepy and a lot of fucked up things happen with his character this season. With that being said, we do get to see Maggie's character return in this season. It's eight years later, as I was saying, so she's not really dealing with the tiles anymore or trying to find uh, the lost children. She has a normal life. She's dating this FBI agent. I thought her character was kind of boring. They didn't really say much about her. There's not much development with her character really towards the end where she meets up with Vic and having to take on Charlie Manx and Christmas Land. But two characters are that were actually really surprising this season were Vic's parents. They're now grandparents finding out and seeing their young grandson Bruce Wayne and having to do with his disappearance and they really kind of get over their bullshit they had in the first season being alcoholics and having a lot of issues. They're better people now, better parents. They had more depth to them and uh, Chris McQueen, which is Vic's father, I thought he was really fantastic this season. And you know, him coming across Charlie Manx, you know, him and Vic have to put their heads together to figure out a way to stop him. Having to do with bombs and what they set up towards the end of the season. Uh, but uh, it doesn't really end too well for Chris McQueen's character. But throughout the season, they're basically trying to find Charlie Manx. They're trying to find young Bruce Wayne, Vic's son. He's uh, captured and taken into Christmas land and I guess seduced by Charlie Manx himself as he you know, lures kids in with candy and Christmas music and promising them Christmas land, which is Christmas year round, but it's really a whole bunch of little vampire kids like eating people that come in there. So it's really fucked up. Vic finally gets her shit together, stops drinking. She's like, I gotta be a great mother. Um, and she has this great conversation with her mom saying, you know, I need to move on with my life. I need to be a good mother. I can't let this happen anymore. I can't be an alcoholic like you guys were and be bad parents. I have to be a, the better person here and better parent and I have to find my son. So there were some really great scenes with her and her mom and dad, uh, you know, kind of putting their differences aside and saying it's all about Bruce Wayne and finding this young boy. With that being said, we do see the characters return to Christmas Land. The overall set design, costume design of Christmas Land is really uh, well done in this season. I love how they do. There is some CGI in it, but you can tell it's all pretty much a set and practical effects. I see in all these young demented kids with sharp teeth. And thanks to Vic McQueen and her motorcycle driving on that magical bridge called the Inscape, making it to Christmas land. Nobody can get in there but them, thanks to her. And she brings Maggie along and they're coming across all these evil kids and coming across Charlie Manx. Uh, towards the end of the season, the final episode was really fantastic. It was an ultimate duel of Charlie versus Vic and Maggie and then them trying to 
grab Bruce Wayne and bring him back to the real life and out of Christmas land and see if he can become normal again. Really great set design and set pieces, how they created this overall Christmas land and uh, having a Christmas vibe to it, but it definitely felt dark and scary at the same time. And I can see how that would lure kids in because everybody, you know, especially young kids love Christmas, love Santa Claus. It's really cool how they incorporate Christmas with like an evil entity being Charlie Mang. So it was really awesome. And you can see all the kids that he's captured over the years. There's like, I don't know, like 50, 100 of them. And you know, them taking on Vic and Maggie, it's not gonna end well. So it's a lot of really great scenes. Uh, one that reminded me of The Shining, they're in like this ice maze coming across all these kids are trying to kill them and then Charlie Mink shows up at the end. It really had a cold and spooky atmosphere to it, much like The Shining. And I like how they kind of ended that in Christmas Land. And, but with Nosferatu season two, it really started off strong with the first few episodes and it kind of lost the momentum. The story wasn't as good this season. I think the way they wrote a lot of these characters, there wasn't really much to them and there wasn't a lot there to, to actually feel for them. You didn't really care for these characters as much. And I thought Charlie Manx, Zachary Quinto was definitely the standout performance. And I thought Vic McQueen kind of took the back seat this season. Just wasn't much to her. Just like her, she's an alcoholic. She lost her kid. She keeps making all the stupid uh, mistakes and she has to really get her shit together and do good for her family and find her son in Christmas land. Nothing really new about it. And I thought they could have added more depth to her character. Also with Lou, her boyfriend, fiance, father, Bruce Wayne. I really love that character, but again, there wasn't much to him. There's no like character development. With a lot of the, the supporting cast, even Maggie, there's not much to her. Just know that she's not working in the business, using the tiles anymore. Uh, but of course, Vic brings her back in when it comes down to Bruce Wayne. I like the young kid that played Bruce Wayne being the son. He was one of the better performances, being a child actor and seeing uh, what happens to him and him returning back home after leaving Christmas Land. But overall, I had a pretty good time with Nosferatu season two. Huge fan of the book by Joe Hill. Huge Joe Hill fan. Loved the first season. Uh, they had a lot of issues with season two. A lot of it was the writing. The character development wasn't there. Uh, just more of Charlie versus Vic and her making bad decisions. Uh, but I did like the performances from Ashley Cummings for the most part. Uh, just wish they had more, added more to her character. And I obviously love Zachary Quinto, love the supporting cast. So I'm gonna give Nosferatu season two a three and a half out of five Charlie Manx hair pieces. So what'd you guys think of season two of Nosferatu? What did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? What'd you guys think of that ending? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to hit subscribe. This is Logan Myers signing out from Christmas Land one last time until the next TV review. Cheers!